Hey guys, it's Jake. Before we get started in today's live vlog, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, for my channel, we recently hit 100 subscribers, which is just insane. But uh, I haven't shown you guys what I've been working on lately, and I feel kind of bad about that. And there's a few reasons for it. I've been working on a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff, where it's not really all that particularly interesting, like paperwork, um, filling out my app listings for both the App Store and uh, the Google Play Store. I've been filling out just all of that crap, <laughs> right? I've put together a website. It's uh, currently live right now at mcneilgames.com. And I coded it all myself using HTML and CSS. And it's actually really cool because I finally, and I, the reason I haven't made a website in the past is because I didn't want to pay the hosting fees. But it's really cool for me because I finally found a free host. From there, I wanted to work on my app icon. So I just roughed out where I wanted the car placed, um, and I wanted it pretty much centered in the image, and then the road like curving behind it into a point, and then just obviously having the skyscrapers um, in the background and have them angling to that point to give it the perspective that I wanted. Then I just added some background layers behind that, some extra buildings behind it. I got it all positioned down in a way that I liked it and then it just came down to me needing to create Tommy. So at this point in time, I was drawing the whole thing just using a mouse and my keyboard. And I didn't have any way of drawing it with like a pen or anything like that. Um, I created this ridiculous looking thing and it looked so bad. So I just, I had to. I spent the money and I spent the time waiting for a drawing tablet to arrive and I got the Huion Canvas Pro 20. And I love this thing. It's so freaking nice. I've had other drawing tablets in the past, but none of them have actually had a screen on them. So this one's so much easier to use. It's so freaking good. The screen is great. I just, it's a freaking dream to freaking draw on this thing. It's, it's really cool. So from here, I just uh, drew out the rough outlines of Tommy, tried to find a good pose about how I wanted his legs to be positioned and like his arms to be grabbing onto it. And I knew from the beginning that I wanted his head to be over the window so that you could see his face in full detail, but his body to be behind it. And so that's what I went for. So he was kind of hanging on to the, like the left hand corner and I thought it looked really nice. And then after I got all the outlines done and I got it in a pose that I genuinely liked, I then went to start blocking in the colors. So I just started painting in the base color first and then from there I would follow it with shadows and then highlights. So after I got all the base colors done, I then went on to adding some shadow to the image and I had to pick a point that I wanted the light to be coming from and this is gonna affect the entire image. So it's very important that you get this right. And I decided that I kind of wanted it to come from like a top angle, kind of like how it would be from the sun coming down and shining directly towards the left side of his face. And so that would mean everything else, kind of like how it is right now, would be in shadow. And so that's how I kind of went about developing his lighting for the image to add the shadows and then from there add the highlights in the respected areas. So from here I went to the blocked out car that I had drawn and I needed to, Tommy was drawn with line art so I wanted to emulate that in the car so I went and outlined all the blocks and put the, the grill and lights in front of it and then I just went to blocking out the colors and adding the shadows and highlights in the respected areas based on the lighting that I would chosen for Tommy so it all matched. So from there, I just needed to work on the background and some foreground elements. So I went ahead and started creating some clouds. It's just a, like a spongy kind of brush that I just textured. It's just white with a underlay of dark gray. It's actually kind of like a lighter gray. And then um, because the scene is gonna be moving in such a way, and I wanted to emulate or show that there was a lot of speed involved with this. I added some motion blur to the clouds at the angle pointed at the point where the, like everything's heading to. So from here, it was just a matter of adding in the skyscrapers. And in the in Crosswalk Joyride, all the skyscrapers are different colors, you know, red, green, blue. I was trying it with different colors and it just wasn't looking right. I just, I tried like this reflective thing where like maybe it was like the glass was reflecting the clouds and that looked kind of cool but there was too much blue involved with it so I just decided that I was just gonna go ahead and just 
gray it out and it'll just add to the focus of Tommy and the car rather than the background anyway, so it's not that important. But that led to the completed piece and I think it turned out really, really nice. So I hope you guys like it too. If not, I'm up for your guys' opinions. Just leave them in the comments below and I'll see if I can make it better. So before I could take my screenshots, I needed to do all of my post-processing kind of effects and make the scene look prettier than it already is. So I wanted to add some shadows, I wanted to change up the coloring, and I wanted to try and use some depth of field just to blur out the end at the, or like blur it out at the very edges. Originally on this project I had disabled the shadows, so I just went back into the quality settings and enabled the shadows to see some really crappy looking shadows. They wouldn't render fast enough, or like it was only, they'd only render so freaking close to the player and if I tried to draw that distance out, it just made it so freaking pixelated um, without, the only way I could get around this was I, I kept the draw distance at like a, a farther distance, but I had to sacrifice a little bit on it. So you can see it loading in, it just beyond the car. But if I didn't do that, it would be so pixelated on the shadows because of the shadow mask that they used, the distance shadow mask. And that was not gonna be any good. So I brought it back a little bit, and then I increased the um, quality of the shadow mask, basically making it so it's like a larger image so it can use more space. Following the shadows, I adjusted the coloring of the scene. I just basically added some saturation, tried to make the temperature warmer, and I also adjusted how the lighting and the scene works. I changed the angle of the shadows, and then I also adjusted the brightness to fit it better. And from there, I could take some screenshots, and what was hard about taking screenshots was, um, if you know anything about Apple and Google, they require a lot of different screenshots for different devices, and I wanted to have it uniformed throughout the whole thing, but how do you take a screenshot of the same, so take the same photo in different screen orientations all at once. Luckily with Unity there's a way to do it that's actually pretty simple. During gameplay, there's in the Unity editor, there's a way that you can change the aspect ratios and you can actually add pixel dimensions that you need, which is really nice. So I was able to add in all of the sizes that I needed get to a point where I thought it was a pretty good time to take a photo and I would have to press the pause button on the Unity editor, then I could just open up the different sizes and just take a screenshot. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and once again, thank you guys for, thank you so much for helping me get to 100 subscribers. I actually think right now we're about at 115. So that's, that's amazing. I, that's so cool. As I've mentioned before in the beginning of the episode, my website is live. Go check it out, you know. Tell me what you think, if you like it or not. It's uh, pretty basic, but um, it's pretty cool. I'm also looking into setting up a Discord server. If you guys are interested in that, uh, the link will be in the description, or you can just go to my website. It's linked there, too. On another note, Crosswalk, the game is still live on the App Store. If you guys want to go download it, you can test out one of my games and I would greatly appreciate that too. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.